Did you know that in mobile game Idol Supermarket, you can find The Simpsons House from... Well, The Simpsons House from The Simpsons. Hello and welcome back to another episode of Video Game Easter Eggs, the series where we cover some of the best Easter eggs found in video games. As always, if you think you know of a video game Easter egg that I'm yet to cover, then let me know in the comments and I'll do my best to check it out. Oh, and before we get started, I'd like to thank the sponsor of today's video, The Hunter Call of the Wild. Call of the Wild is the enormously popular open world hunting game where you can hunt over 60 animal species around the world either by yourself or with friends, thanks to the game's multiplayer. The end of June saw the release of the Revan Thule Coast DLC, letting you test your hunting skills in the rugged wilderness of Finland. Known for its wild fields, thick forests and vibrant landscapes, the Revan Thule Coast DLC is the ideal place for hunters to put their skills to the test. Of course, new areas also means new animals. Brown bears, white-tailed deer, Eurasian lynx and more call the Revan Thule Coast home, meaning your sport for choice when it comes to your next hunt. You can also make use of the new reworked water layout blind to conceal yourself from prey that like to stay near water, like ducks and waterfowl. It's up to you just how challenging your hunt is. Oh, and if that wasn't enough, the location looks gorgeous. So if you want to take a break from hunting, you can just explore the massive 25 square mile map and take in the scenery. The Reventuli Coast DLC is available today, so if you want to take a trip to Finland but can't quite afford the flight, do the next best thing and download it now. A massive thank you to The Hunter Call of the Wild for sponsoring today's video, and without further delay, let's get started. Right, let's begin today's video with 112 Operator. In the last episode of this series, we found a caller that enjoyed a good sing-along to a Beatles classic. Well, today's wannabe pop star caller also isn't shy about flexing their vocal ability. 112, what's your emergency? Hello? Is it me you're looking for? Cause I wonder where you are And I wonder what you do You're all I've ever wanted And I love you too. Bye buddy. So the caller starts off by singing the Stevie Wonder song, I Just Called to Say I Love You. However, not one to be outdone, the operator will then break into his own rendition of the Lionel Richie hit, Hello. Again, I can't play the songs here as YouTuber YouTube, but I will leave links to both the songs in the description. Up next is the first of two references to a very famous carpet. Angerfoot recently featured in the hidden video game detail series, where we discovered that dying in the first person door booting simulator would cause enemies to twerk. A lot of you commented that this dance might be a reference to the twerking Thanos meme, and I think you're right, so give yourselves a pat on the back. Anyway, the famous carpet found in Angerfoot is going to be immediately recognisable to fans of horror movies. Throughout the game, you can find this. I mean, even if you aren't a fan of horror movies, you'll probably recognise this carpet, as it's popped up in tons of games before, including Layers of Fear 2 and Fortnite. For the seven of you that don't recognise the carpet, it's the same carpet that's found in the Overlook Hotel from the 1980 movie The Shining. The other game to use the same interior designer as the Overlook Hotel is 12 Minutes. In a game all about trying to work out what's happening in your apartment, if you look outside of your home, you can see the same carpet used in the hallway. To be honest, I've been sitting on that 12 minutes clip for a while now, so it feels good to finally use it in a video. Up next is American Theft 80s. As you can probably guess from the name, American Theft 80s is a game all about stealing things in the 80s. What's cool is almost any building can be broken into and relieved of its items. That includes houses, banks, shops, museums and more with each location offering differing levels of security. Couple that with the fact that your character looks like Steve Harrington from Stranger Things and you have a game of the year contender on your hands. The first easter egg from American Theft 80s continues our theme of games referencing The Shining. If you break into Hotel Room 217, you can find this.
So this blood-filled bathtub is a reference to Room 237 from The Shining. The scene in question from the film is kind of hard to share as it features a lot of nudity, but this particular reference has been confirmed by one of the devs. Oh, and if that wasn't enough to convince you, there's also an axe stuck into the door of the room, an obvious nod to this terrifying scene from the movie. The other references I found in American Theft 80s can be found at the video store. Several of the posters found on the store's windows are references to real-world films. I won't insult your intelligence by naming them, but feel free to leave your guesses in the comments. Next up is Dead Polly, a zombie survival shooter that looks like no other zombie survival shooter I've ever seen. At the time of recording, the game is in early access, and to be honest, it does feel kind of empty, but that doesn't mean that there aren't easter eggs to find. First up, if you check the description of the crowbar, it reads Standard Weight Crowbar GF Etched Into The Metal. This is an obvious reference to Gordon Freeman from the Half-Life series and his trusty crowbar. The other easter egg I found in Dead Polly is a reference to a movie that gets referenced all the time. And no, don't worry, it's not The Shining. If you head to the storm drains, you can find this. So this storm drain is actually called the Creepy Storm Drain, with a message saying no Georgie. This is of course a reference to it and Georgie's untimely demise. Oh, and there was one more thing, but I don't actually think it's an easter egg. You can place a traffic cone on your character's head, which is something that the zombies of Plants vs Zombies are often seen with. Like I said, I don't actually think that's a reference, I just thought it was worth mentioning. So to end today's video, let's take a look at Trepang 2. Trepang 2 describes itself as an action-packed FPS where you become the ultimate badass. And they're not wrong. You can dodge bullets in slow motion whilst leaving a bloody mess in your wake. And you can do it in style. Trepang has been compared to the Fear series, particularly Fear 1, and it's easy to see why. Weapons have the same punchy effect that the weapons in Fear do, and the enemies are constantly communicating with each other, which more often than not works in your favour. Anyway, the easter egg found in Trepang 2 is really cool. If you enable Noclip, something which can be done after completing the prologue, you can find this. So this is The Backrooms. The Backrooms is the urban legend slash creepypasta that is an endless maze of randomly generated offices. Apparently to access The Backrooms you need to no clip out of reality, which is exactly what we did in Trepang 2. The Backrooms in Trepang are creepy. First of all you can find a picture of the Mona Lisa that will move whenever you aren't looking at it. And I'm not sure if this is related, but shooting the painting seems to cause some sort of spirit to attack you, but that might just be a coincidence. If you find the back rooms too creepy and try to quit, this message will appear, informing you that there is no escape and to wait for the inevitable. Even trying to return to the safe house isn't allowed, as it's apparently an invalid destination. The only way to quit is to close the game completely. I suspect that this won't be the last video game easter egg to reference the backrooms. So that's it, if you enjoyed this video then leaving a like is really appreciated. If you are a fan of easter eggs and secrets in video games then perhaps consider subscribing as that's what this channel is all about. As always thank you all for watching and I'll speak to you all soon.